Welcome to Entrusted Hope Podcast. We're so glad that you've chosen to join our host, Dr. O'Shea Lowry, as she shares with us God's unchanging truths and life lessons He has entrusted to her along her journey. Today, I want to be speaking to you on the topic, Ask God, Then Wait on His Answer. Ask God, Then Wait on His Answer. Several years ago, I was presented with an opportunity of a job in a different state. This job would have positioned me closer to my family, and it was very appealing, I will be honest. And and I was, you know, somewhat interested in that position. And so I reached out to three friends that the godly individuals who absolutely walk with the Lord, and all three friends gave me different answers. But then I went before the Lord. At this particular time, I had been studying the children of Israel and they're wandering through the wilderness. And and I had gotten to Joshua chapter three and I had been studying in that chapter and the Lord brought that passage back to my heart and I started reading it and instantly I knew the Lord's answer. Again, this was a time where the children of Israel had been wandering through the wilderness. Moses was their leader. Moses then, he died and Joshua takes over. And so at this particular point in Joshua chapter three, they have made it under Joshua's leadership to the bank of where they are about to cross that Jordan River and they're going to be in the promised land. But When they arrived, they had to wait for some things to take place before that time came. So I'm going to read to you just a few passages in Joshua chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. Then Joshua rose early in the morning, and he and all the sons of Israel set out from Shittim and came to the Jordan, and they lodged there before they crossed. At the end of three days, the officers went through the midst of the camp, and they commanded the people, saying, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God with the Levitical priests carrying it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. However, there shall be between you and it a distance of about 2,000 cubits by measure. Do not come near it that you may know the way by which you shall go, for you have not passed this way before. I knew instantly that the Lord was showing me he was not leading in this job. He was not leading me to take this position. He was not leading me in that direction. I had gotten ahead of God. Something had, you know, just gotten my attention. It was very appealing, but God was not in it. I want to take you back for just a few moments. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this topic, but I want to take you back to verse three. And this was the verse that God really used to speak to me. Joshua is giving them instructions, and at the end of three days, the officers went through the midst of the camp, and this is what they were commanded the people to do. When you see the Ark of the Covenant, now the Ark of the Covenant is where God took up his residence. This is how he led the children of Israel. When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God with the Levitical priests carrying it, then you shall set out from your place. In other words, you're not to move until you see God move. But when you see him move, then you are to set out and then you are to go forward. Listen, there are times that we pray and ask the Lord for direction. He promises in Psalm 32, 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. In Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, he says, trust in the Lord. With all of your heart, do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. On this particular day, I was leaning on my own understanding of what I thought would be best for my life. And we have to remember God is the one that sees the bigger picture. He sees what he has in store for us and where he is going to lead us. And as we seek him daily and walk with him and and we are obedient, to him. He will show us the way in which we are to go. I love this so much. And I want to read it one more time. When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, your God, with the Levitical priests carrying it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. Listen, between the when you see, then you shall are waiting times. And we don't need to get discouraged during those times. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't do anything during waiting times. We are to continue to pray. 
We are to continue to do the thing that he has told us to do, the last thing he told us to do. We are to continue to do that, what has been placed in front of us, until he opens the door for us to take that next step. There are times that the Lord says, okay, this is what I want you to do during waiting times. There was a particular time that God had called me to many seasons of preparation. I was led to seminary. I went to seminary and I began to prepare for the work God was calling me to do. So it was not idle time. I I had to study. I had to prepare. I had to do what he told me to do. But on this particular day, when there was something I was seeking, something that presented itself to me, I had to say, Lord, is this your will? Do you want me to do this? And the Lord said, no. And looking back, over those several years ago, listen, I can say with certainty, God has done so many wonderful things in my life by keeping me exactly where I needed to be and where I still need to be because he has me here for such a time as this and he's doing really a great work. So when you see him move forward, then you shall go after him. And that was the message to the children of Israel. Then you shall set out from your place and go after it, meaning follow him. This is the time you're about to cross that Jordan River and enter the promised land. But I love verse four also, however, there shall be between you and it a distance of about 2000 cubits by measure. Do not come near it that you may know the way by which you shall go for you have not passed this way before. Listen, I'm about to do another podcast for you that is going to talk about when God ushers us into new seasons. And sometimes we've never been that way before. And sometimes we're going to experience him removing some things and bringing some things into our lives, things that we maybe don't understand at the time because we've never been that way before, never been through that way before. And so this was what the message to the children of Israel, in other words, just to cap it all up. What they were being told is follow God. Don't move until you see him moving. Then you follow him, but you stay behind him because you've never been this way before. And you're going to have to let him lead in this and not try to get ahead of him. Listen, ask God, then wait on his direction. Pray for direction. Pray for wisdom as you're waiting, but wait and steward your waiting time. Steward it well. Do the thing he's asking you to do while you are waiting. And then I want to close with this. When he shows you what to do, it's time to act. Not too long ago, someone uh, reached out and they were praying for God's direction. And it wasn't really the fear of his direction. I think it was more of when he tells me what to do, I I need courage to do it. And when God has made clear to you the next step to take, you take it. You trust him. Because in the go, he is going to take care of you. Wrapped up in that go or wrapped up in that yes is his plan, his purpose, and all the things he's going to do for your life. So you can trust him to move forward when he shows you what to do. Have courage. Be strong and courageous, as I tell my class all the time. And as my mentor had to tell me the other day, you be strong and courageous. Ask God. Then wait on his answer and know that it's coming. He is faithful to his own and he will answer you. I hope you have a great rest of the day and thank you for listening to Entrusted Hope Podcast. Thank you for listening to Entrusted Hope Podcast. We pray today's teaching brought you hope and comfort in God's truth and in his love. For more information on Entrusted Hope Ministries, visit our website at entrustedhopeministries.org. Have a blessed day, and thank you again for listening to Entrusted Hope Podcast, an outreach of Entrusted Hope Ministries. Copyright Entrusted Hope Ministries. All rights reserved. No portion of this content may be reproduced in any form without permission from Entrusted Hope Ministries.